Well, hello there. Hello there, one and all. Hello, Draclon. Um, yeah, I, I decided I'm going to change it to the flash, splash screen. What I really want is like, I talked about it before, but like a coming on air sign, like old sign off things from old television. Anyway, I feel like I need to get better about sprucing up the stream a little bit because I noticed I have 99 followers. I mean, I got like, I'm just one more follower and I'll have a hundred and I still don't have like anything proper for anything. At least alert worked. We do have our little bot made this indicator in the corner that bot made this is running. Um, but when tall tech subscribed the other day, it didn't work. So I want to look at that a little bit. I also want to try to make a weird fake version of heat for YouTube for Dan Schiffman to try on his videos. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do today. First, I don't know that we're going to get deep into styling things. It's going to be a process, it's going to be a journey. But um, today, yeah, let's look at bot made this and at least try to figure out why. I have 27 days to make, I know, just for you, to make it beautiful for you. Um, but I got to at least have like a follow message, right? Like I got to have, one for the 100th follower, I wanted to, minimum, just to like a little banner at the top, right? That's not, no animation, sound effects, nothing fancy today. Just so I notice, because I never notice. And then yes, we will do something just, just tremendously extravagant for your next, uh, sub update so let's go over here i don't like this wallpaper we got to do it's time for a wallpaper shop most important part of the stream i have to be comfortable with my wallpaper environment i like this one but i think we had it before i don't like humans in my wallpaper i really don't like it when people call wallpaper screensavers they do it all the time because screensavers aren't really a thing anymore the way they used to be but i don't like it um, this one's kind of nice, but it's, 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 it's almost springtime. We started daylight saving yesterday. I want something a little more springy. I went on a nice hike yesterday. Went to Mount Tabor. Nice view of the city. Had some sunshine in Portland. Lovely. Pretty sure I'm searching for na nature, so I don't know why I get cars. Got some nice grainy clouds. A birthday dog. Mm-hmm. It's very majestic. I, I just want something a little more lush. I want some lushness. Is that too much to ask for? It might be. I know we can't spend the whole stream looking at wallpaper. Mm, it's close. It's pretty close. I would like this if that roof wasn't there. I don't know what this man is doing. I'm specifically looking for nature. People are bad at tagging their photos on Unsplash, apparently. Mm, mm, mm. That's beautiful, but again, not lush. Where's the lushness? Ooh. Let's go with this one. We've looked enough. With the orange at the top. Yes, the nonsense. I know. I kind of want to make some nonsense again. A little bit. I have some nonsense temptations. I'm feeling temptation. Okay, so what do we need to do? we got to find our friend Glitch. Really, I just want to get through this and play Slay This Fire. That's all. Oh, did you hear that, Draclan? That's the roofers. They're doing their fun thing where they just throw piles of things outside. So... Bot made this. What's your problem, Bot made this? Why didn't you alert the other day when you should have? Alert works, seemingly. So what I think we need to do is have like a set up like a little test thing. Maybe we can set it up where it'll emit. I don't remember how we did anything. So what was that? That was a s sub, right? Oh, do I just not have sub? Did I do everything except for sub? Resub, sub gift, sub mystery gift. Oh, maybe the problem is I did every possible thing Did you hear it? Draclan, seriously, did you hear it? It was loud. I don't know, man, I'm so tired of the roofers. It's been going on for basically two solid months now. You didn't hear it. I go, we gotta like go outside and look around. Um, so this looks like a, a silly error on my part, right? Cause I, rem how did I not do that? How did I not do sub of all I thought I went through these all one at a time. It's ridiculous. I know, it's a bummer. 
Maybe it's, I mean, maybe it's just hard to replace a roof on a building that people live in. Okay, username has subscribed to the channel. Somehow I... I managed to add everything except for that. But where's like... Sub gift? Why? Where did I get this stuff? Did I just make these things up? Are those old? Maybe that documentation's old. Let's try again. Events. Yeah, we have sub gift subscription. Just somehow. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. We just stopped at sub mystery gifts, didn't make it to just a basic old sub. Okay, well, let's just broadcast one of these. Hopefully that's all it was. I mean, that's probably what it was. And no, it's not something more, more problematic. Okay, channel, username, all these fun things. They made some updates in a new version of, um, oh, I can't do it here. Actually, Glitch does it, cool. There's some updates to Visual Studio Code that makes multi-line selection work more like I want it to. Okay, maybe that works. I kind of want to know with follow, I wish follow, is that, did I not do follow also? What is wrong with me? Select a rectangle. Yeah, the um, or multi-line. I didn't even really mean to do that here. I was just pushing buttons, thinking I was in Visual Studio Code. Anyway, they, there's new stuff in the version that just came out that makes that multi-line selection work a little more the way that I want to, and do like column selection stuff. How do I not have followers? How did I like? How did I do such a bad job of this bot? Wait, is follow not an event? How do you know if someone follows? That seems weird, right? Doesn't that seem like, oops, I just punched the thing. It says you've only been following since January. I thought last time I looked, you'd been following for <clears throat> hundreds of years, thousands of years. Don't worry, Draclan, you've been following, in my heart, you've been following for a hundred years. Um, what's my problem? Let's push some buttons here, maybe. How do you know if there's a follow? Doesn't that seem weird that there wouldn't be an explicit event for following? Is it called something else? That seemed weird. That seemed weird. Oh, follows aren't sent through the API. Well, that sucks. Follows unusual has to be detected to, through a query. I don't like that. Why? Why? That seems like the most frequent thing. Like, what a peculiar... The, Twitch is very inconsistent across its different tools and APIs, how certain things work. It seems really unusual to me that you can't get a follow event when you can get like somewhat like sub gift, sub mystery gift, resub, like all these things that are fairly, I don't know, relatively rare, I would say, versus follow. I, I wonder why. Yeah, it's probably legacy stuff, but this is a newer API revision, I think. Oh, speaking of that, they did update the back end for the, um, Developer back in for extensions, and that does seem to be better than it was. So, why? But why won't you add it? This is 2015, and my dude Joseph is like, no, I can't do it, sorry.
Follow webhooks. Okay. Subscribe to events that happen on Twitch. Then when an event Twitch or subscribed occurs, Twitch notifies you. So I don't have to pull the API then for that. Um, I mean, it's still kind of annoying. So it's just like I have to post to it and then give it a end a URL that it'll hit and then. Analytics, all these fancy things. You definitely used to have to pull it, but now it looks like you can tell Twitch to hit a certain endpoint. Yeah, I think that was the. I think that's how you used to have to do it. But now it looks like you can use webhooks, and then you can su you can subscribe. If I understand this right, I've not done this yet. Um, but you can tell Twitch like Twitch like, hey, here's a URL. Whenever something happens, hit it. Can I just unfollow and follow repeatedly to test this? I've never done this before. So a URL to be delivered, the type of request, URL for the topic to subscribe to or undescribe from, user follows, number of seconds of the subscription default allows you to test subscription creation workflow without creating a subscription, they expire immediately. You must specify a larger value. To X Hub signature. I would like more information on this. Um, so I'll have to pull. No, no, you don't. So if I understand this correctly, what I will do on the Node.js side is I will have a routing set up with a certain URL that Twitch will hit. And whenever it happens, I will get it. Now it means on the beginning of the application, yeah, I don't have to, but my subscription can expire. I mean, up to whatever this is. Yeah, but not very frequently. Like the subscription can be however long that is. What's that divided by 60 divided by 60? It defaults to 10 hours. So just on application start, I can say, hey, for the next 10 hours, um, tell me what's up. Wait, that's not right. Is that 10 days? 240 hours, 10 days, right? It'll last 10 days. Did I do that math correctly? That's seconds turns to minutes, turn to hours, turn to days. Yeah, sorry, it'll last 10 days. Maybe I'll even only do one day at a time because presumably I would re resubscribe. Um, now the secret though, I don't know about. I would like more inf information on this. Webhooks guide. Why did why why Twitch? Why? Why don't you give me an example of how to do this thing? Like what is the secret? How does it work? Oh, 
As per the docs. Man, Twitch, you're kind of a jerk sometimes because it could be way more explicit than it is. Okay, great. Here's an example. Yeah, why don't you put that in the docs as per? As per. We all know what that really means. Um, and then, yeah, they will call this. So, still, still though, why? Why don't you give an actual example? Like, I still, I read your documentation. I still am not super clear on the... Twitch signs the notification using that secret. So I can give it a secret. So I can just make up a secret, I guess. Okay, fine. Let's just try to figure it out. I don't know why you just don't have something I can easily... Okay, so I need to post something here. So on our server side, like once every whatever, however we want to do it, like... Now the thing is, is that Glitch is going to shut our dude down. Um, every 12 hours anyway. So we don't even really have to worry about resubscribing because we know that our script will always get rerun. But um, let's just figure it out. So I need like HTTP, I need requests, right? I don't know how to do this stuff. So we'll do something like this. I like this idea. I mean, in general, I think this is a pretty interesting way to, I mean, it's kind of cool, right? So instead of having to maintain a persistent connection somewhere, you can just say like, hey, Twitch, just let me know when something happens. So I'm, I'm kind of into that. I've not messed with webhooks before. So in general, I feel like this is kind of a cool, kind of a cool thing. Still mad at that guy for saying, as per. Jerk, jerk move. Okay. Um. So we need to post here. Oops. And we need to post the following things. Like is this jub hub. Is this right? So callback mode. Topic. Lease seconds. I think I'm. I think this is what we want to do. I could be. I could be off here. Okay. So my callback URL is going to be something goofy, like.
There's really no reason for me to set all these out here and then just reset them in there. What am I doing? I think I want not, not that form them though. Can I do the... What are the other options? on how to structure this. So if you want the callback, you have to do this. Okay, that's fine. Something like that. And then in here we will do our friends. As per, as per, as per everyone. Rude. I mean, I, send that, I say that sometimes too. I try not to now. Now I feel like it's like recently entered the collective consciousness as a uh, dismissive, almost an insult. So our callback is gonna be something goofy. Our callback is going to be like Scott Garner, as per, as per my last stream, Dracklin. I mean, we could do something like this. I guess maybe we do whatever the method is. And then we'll just add routing for that. As per. Okay, but what do I put in there? Like hub dot topic. So I need to put in the is that a URL? This is what the topic is. URL for the topic to just subscribe to. So we'll call this follows and we'll say mode subscribe topic this no yeah sure uh lease seconds let's just go for the maximum because why not so fired up today am i fired up today i made a choice today so i've been i don't know if it's like winter time or winter blues or some kind of illness or whatever, but I've been feeling severe fatigue lately, which is unusual for me because I'm kind of like get up and go kind of person, but I've had, I've had energy in the morning problems. And so today I went to the gym and then I, when I left the gym, I was like, you know what? I'm tired of being tired lately. I'm going to drink a coffee drink and have a breakfast that I like, even though I know that I will have problems with my digestion. Um, which is why I stopped drinking caffeine, but it was worth it. So I have a little pep in my step. I'm slightly suffering from it, but I think it, I think it was the right choice. Okay, and then we just need some kind of secret here. Secret. Or like. That's a bad secret, but we'll fix it later. Yes, yeah, so I subscribe to the webhook endpoint, that API endpoint that you used to have to pull, but instead of me having to continually pull it, Twitch will call this URL. It's almost like an OAuth thing. If you've ever done OAuths before, like part of that authentication process is when you're done. Oh, is that a poem? Okay, beautiful. Sorry, Draculin, I thought it was, uh, I thought we were talking here, but you were writing poetry and I was rude, rudely interrupting. 
But yeah, I mean, this to me seems like an OAuth-ish kind of thing, but for whatever data you want, which seems sort of cool. Kind of makes me want to do that for heat. Because then instead of doing WebSockets, you could just subscribe. I don't know. It would really only be valuable if you were doing it server side. Okay, so like, are we getting logs here? Unauthorized. I have to provide a client ID or an OAuth token. Oh yeah? What if I don't? Oh, I didn't mean to make it my channel name. I meant to make this secret. Secret. I'll just go add that to the env later. I just have to do that when no one's looking. I mean, I could do this OAuth token. Actually, I have an OAuth token. Okay, cool. So how do I... I kind of forgot I did. I will make a more secretive secret. A valid client ID or OAuth token. Okay, per auth, per per the documentation. Doesn't say anything in here, does it? Not for the follow. Oh look, here's their secret. Wait, here is an example. How did I, okay, I was rude before. Sorry per email guy, here's your example. Um, but well, something still seems not right. Can you do this? Oh, is it actually supposed to be hub.mode and not, oh, the key, is that, is that real? Can you do that? Or is it the same as having it structured like this? I'm confused now. I'm still mad at him saying per. I don't forgive him for that. But there was an example, that's on me. Okay. So hub mode, subscribe, got it. Hub topic, user follows first. Okay, so it looks like there's more stuff we need to pass as parameters to the topic. The callback is my handler, which we have not written yet. The least seconds and the secret. And then we push that to there. So now we need to go look at this API. Why is this different than everything else? Why? Oh no, why is my connection unstable? What happened? It wasn't Backblaze. What just happened? Hello, can you hear me? Come in, everyone, come in. Over, it's me, Scott. Can you hear me? Connection seems to be stabilizing. Maybe somebody on the roof stepped on the internet cable and wouldn't let the internet pass through. I don't think it's that laptop. thought we it's not backblaze or dropbox this is mm, i don't like this suspicious okay what are we doing now now we got to figure out how to do this nonsense so what are the parameters here first specifies the user who starts following someone what You must pass a parameter called first.
Oh, I see. Well, that's kind of weird. So you can watch... You can watch everyone someone subscribes to? That seems kind of weird. Draclon, I could put in your ID and I could find... Or follows. I could follow your following. Weird. Um, anyway, okay, so I need to do first equals one, which that makes kind of no sense at all. Why do, would you have a static parameter like that? And specifies the user who has a new follower. Okay, so we need to throw this in. Don't look, that's private. I know what you've been doing. We all know what you've been doing. Um, so I have the username, but now I need... It's kind of annoying that I have to have the username and the user ID. Not crazy about that. I don't know why I'm using underscores here. Okay. Oh my gosh! Wait, what happened? Binary C, did you mess me up? Quick, follow before you check. No, don't. Oh no. Wait. I thought you were already following me. Okay, you are you like unsubscribing, resubscribing? Did someone just unfollow? Now I somehow have less followers. My attempts to get someone to follow have uh, made people unfollow. How come I didn't hear a sound? I got the alert on my phone. Did I, is it because it's broken? I think it's because everything's broken. I broke everything. Did that really break the whole bot? It doesn't seem like it should. Because that still worked. Why didn't Why didn't I hear the... Oh, right. Obviously. I, obviously. That's what I'm doing right now is writing the thing to get the follow alert. Um, I really don't know what's going on with my internet connection. Troubling. I'm going to check this laptop and see if there's anything suspicious. But the lid is closed. Okay. Get to the bottom of this. Can you really not hear that noise outside? Wake up, computer. I hate you so much. You're the worst laptop of all time, all of history. Is it like Steam syncing something? Is it you, Steam? Oh, come on. Surely you heard that one. Doesn't really seem like it's anything over here. Hmm. Very suspicious. Maybe for my birthday, I'll update my internet connection, right? How about that? Okay, what was I doing before I forgot everything I was doing? We were trying to get, so I gotta look at my user ID again. That's annoying. Postman to the rescue. Or the user ID for bot made this. I got Draclin bot sitting in there. Um, bot made this. I'm, I typed it wrong, I typed Boyt. Boyt made this. That's all I'm doing, over here. So I get this, great, have the ID. Let me go over here and be secretive. I'm an internet superstar today, by the way, I've decided. Draculin gave me a pep talk. Let's get a random, random.org. Great. Get some kind of random token.
They can only be 20 characters long. Well. Okay. I think that's okay now. Which one here? That was the wrong button. Okay. So, now what? We do that thing. I need a client ID or OAuth token, but where do I pass that? Like, does it seem like I requested the nonsense properly? First one, two user ID, that's my user ID. I was probably just gonna dump my secret in some log. Oh well, I'll change the secret later. Client ID or OAuth token. So what does that look like? And at least a client ID header. Okay, can I can an authorization header? Is that like so I just need a Add an authorization header to custom headers. So can I just throw this in here? please.
post headers authorization what am i doing wrong Kind of looks right. Token should be my OAuth token. Also, this should just be data. Maybe that's all it was wrong. Maybe I just had a bad request. No. Mm -hmm. There's my secret. Thanks for showing my secret. Very good. It's my own fault. Um, we'll change the secret later. Printing the null. This is the error, and that's the HTTP response. And then the body is this? That'd be kind of weird. Did I also just show my OAuth token? So I'm going to have to generate a new OAuth token as well. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. There's my OAuth token. Everybody, don't show my identity. Or for the bot, the bot's OAuth token, at least. Maybe I should change that real fast, that one's a little scary. Yeah, I don't want to, I mean, you know, how's it going, level three potato? I want to, I want everybody to know what to look for, not to steal from me, but to steal from steal steal from someone else. Let's go revoke it. Kind of forgot how to do that. Oh, I need to be a different Twitch person. Oh, how'd it go? Did you win? Yeah, the lag is the lag is pretty rough. Hopefully, hopefully someday we'll be lag free. It works a little better for just truly weird things. Um, but thank you for checking it out. Let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's change some numbers. Yeah, it works. It works reasonably well for those things. Also, like even for his tank game, so he's in the process of making like real multiplayer. But I still think it would be cool to have heat support to like drop bombs or drop health or something like that. Sorry for punching the the microphone. Um, I forgot how to do this.
Okay. Unauthorized. Let's try again. We've got a beautiful new OAuth token. It's nice and shiny. Go back here, close this. Keep this around maybe. Okay, let's see. Now, now we're all safe and sound and secure. So what is my problem? Must provide a client, a valid client ID or OAuth token. The thing I'm a little worried about is that it's mad about this query, like the query inside the query, which I don't exactly know how we would address that. The user one, where was like the, okay, we want to subscribe. Let's just make sure I'm doing the thing right. Okay, maybe my header's bad. Maybe I need this content type header. That's a possibility. Still broken, but hey. Okay, let's go. Okay, they are providing a client ID here. I guess I could provide a client ID, although it really seems like OAuth should work. Because I don't have a client, I have the, the heat client ID I guess I could use. Spell authorization prefixed with OAuth and then followed by the token. Doesn't that seem like a thing that should work? The thing I'm a little worried about is like that it's some other error and it's just lying to me about what the error is, because sometimes it happens. I'm gonna try this command um, and just try this curl command real fast. I pushed the wrong button. Um, with my Twitch, with my OAuth token and see if that works and hopefully not show it on the screen because I'll then I'll just have to regenerate it again. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yup. Well, that's weird. I just got an invalid access token. Oh, I know why. I think I know why. I think it's a silly thing. So, uh, how do we want to alleviate this? When you use, when you log in here, uh, where, somewhere here, Okay, uh, I, I will. I will switch the camera in one second and show you what the problem is. It's a little. It's a weird thing about how TMIJS wants you to authenticate that I just realized. Okay. Is that right? OAuth token. Wrong. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, yeah, that 
is fine. And then look here. So what I think the issue is, although it still seems to be broken. Okay, maybe the thing that I thought the issue, maybe it's not a problem. Okay, well, never mind, because that's still wrong. The, um, the thing I thought it was is the following. When you make the OAuth token to log into TMIJS, it's like prefixed with the string OAuth colon. So I just stripped that off of what is stored in our environment and then I'm just appending it here. However, it seems to still be broken. So I guess I could. Let's see, what are our options here? Our options are one is to just, I guess, make a Twitch application and get a client ID and do that stuff, which is not a big deal, but it's, it's it, this feels like it should work. So it's kind of annoying. Um, sort of makes me want to grab this and just build it out. Um, like build out that oh, command without a client ID, but do put in that authorization header, like do this instead. And then I'll swap that when no one's looking. And then I will put in my user ID that I already forgot. What's the Babby doing? Eating snacks. Babby's just straight lounging up there. Okay. Um, my user ID is this for the robot. So it'd be people subscribing to the robot. The callback doesn't exist yet, but cram it in there. And then the secret will be secret. So this, other than the fact that that OAuth token, OAuth, OAuth token is obviously invalid, seems like it should work. Yeah, okay, so uh, let me switch over here again. Nobody spy on me. All you people just waiting to steal my identity, especially Draclin. And I put the OAuth token in there, and then I paste this. It's still broken. Hmm. 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 But I feel confident that that OAuth token is correct because I am connected to. Is this still working? Yeah. So I am connected to TMI with that same OAuth token. So I don't think that's the problem. Um, Cause it's just authorization colon OAuth space and then the access token. And that worked when I called the just called that address. So this second one, let's try it one more time and just paste this in here. Um, if this doesn't seem like it's gonna work, then I will just pivot maybe and try to get a client ID or maybe for now just use the, the client ID. Okay, when I do that, it seems like I am, am me. I guess, I mean, it's still very possible that my payload is messed up in some way that it's it's saying there's an authorization error when there's not really an authorization error and that like looking around on Twitch, it kind of seems like that's a thing that can happen. Um, so what do we want to do about it? I think we want to, let's start by just throwing in there whatever their client ID was, who knows what it was, probably not valid. 
I mean, it would be sort of weird for them to do that. Okay, and then my client ID is, um, I think it's just the, yeah, no, browse them. Let's do it. No, browse the extensions. Good grief. Uh, I think it's just this. Is that the secret? Is that the secret? Sometimes, sometimes a little, uh, a little base sixty four encoding goes a long way. Okay, that is definitely a valid client ID. So this is making me feel like let's turn this off. Like something else is wrong with my payload. Although when I did this. Uh Okay. That is I believe a very valid client ID. And I believe this is a very valid username. And everything else is whatever. Now, unless, you know what it could be? I wouldn't think that this is true, but I guess it could be that if your callback URL is broken, it doesn't work. Could that be a thing? Like if your callback handler doesn't work, maybe it throws an error? It's kind of weird. Uh, does that not return anything? Does that mean it worked? Wait, that makes it seem like it worked. What did I do differently? I have a client ID. I have a content type. I have hub dot Topic. I mean, is there something wrong with my um, data payload? Oh, undefined. Beautiful. Well, maybe that was the problem for half the time or part of the time. I forgot that I removed the underscores. Great. Um, There's my secret again, if anybody wants my secret. Just, you know, just for fun. Um, let's see. So... What am I missing? This is the right URL. That's the right client ID. That's the right client. No, client dash ID. How did I miss that? Okay, that worked. Now is it gonna work with OAuth? No, it's still not working with OAuth. But it didn't work with OAuth here. Well, whatever. I guess we'll use client ID, even though that seems not really correct, because that's like the heat client ID. Oh no, man. Okay, well, I think we connected.
let me just switch here for a moment and change my secret yet again to something else fun and exciting. Random secret Santa generator. Not what I meant to look for, but okay. Okay. We got a new secret. So that seemed like maybe it kind of worked. So the way to test that would be what? Now I need to actually set up that webhook, right? That's the missing piece of this. So then it's gonna call my handler with a bunch of nonsense. So we need, what's it called? App.get. Um, what is it? It's the request, the response. That's all I really need, right? Well, that was weird. So it seems like it's hitting me. So is it like request up params or something like that? Yeah, no, they're empty. Request up query. Is it just hitting me with what I sent? The notification payload. Does that come in like post? Express.json. the definitive example here. Okay, so that needs to be a post route, I guess. Wait, is it gonna post to me? So I post to it, but how does it talk to me? I guess we can like try them both.
Somebody looks god. Wouldn't it be cool if this was just in the chat API like everything else and we didn't have to do all, all this extra work? That'd be pretty cool, right? Why, Twitch? Why? WebSub was previously known as PubSubHubBub. Okay. Sending you one of two GET requests. Subscription verify. If your subscription request passes review, Twitch sends you a request to confirm that you requested this sub subscription. To confirm, you must respond to the request with the challenge token provided in the query. Okay, so if it's a subscription verify, what a pain in the butt. Subscription, so that's what this is gonna be. And then I need to get the hub challenge, basically. So it is continually, that's what it's spamming here is like. So we need like, I thought it was, let's see. I thought it was like params or something, but I guess not. Oh, right, that's for the, I got it. Right, 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 okay, so we need Request.query dot what? And what's that gonna look like? This probably can I reference it like this? It's weird that they have dots in there. Okay, so that's the challenge, and then I need to do response.send that thing, right? Do it right. Uh, I think I didn't do it right. Twitch sent you a request to confirm that you requ to confirm you must respond to the request. With the challenge token provided and a 200. Also, you can subscribe to the same topic at most three times. I wonder what you do if you just keep doing what I'm doing and like continually try to subscribe. Like, how do I know? I don't know why this happened twice. But <laughs> so 
So what is the payload otherwise? Like, that's how I request, but now there's not an example of just like, days yeah, okay send you a post okay so the get request is just this the post request is like when something happens Verifying payloads. Okay, okay, okay. So, I don't want body parser. Why can't I just do it? Do this. I don't understand why I get the two different calls. All the time is only one time. Am I, have I subscribed to this seven trillion times, or is it smart enough to not keep res, like resubscribing me to the same topics? Okay. Am I subscribed now? Did we do it? We go over here and like follow me and unfollow me. Okay, I got the phone notification that I got followed. I did not get a notification over here. Kind of seems like it didn't work. That's not how you type that at all. Quirr, quirr. You know, the quirr string. Um, I thought I was just supposed to... Is res.send not the same as a 200? So can I send a status and send a message? And does it want it in the form of JSON or can I just do like, 
Can I do like result dots? Okay, what does it actually want? It wants what? What do you want? Yeah, so it did, okay. I would have thought it would default to 200. Also, I, am I, I was assuming that I was supposed to send the, send that message as, um, hmm, as text and not as JSON. So, if your subscription request passes review, Twitch sends you a request to confirm that you requested the subscription to confirm you must respond to the request with the challenge token provided in the query parameters and an HTTP status code success. An HTTP success response code. It's hard to know like, but I don't know if that's working. How do I know if that worked? I guess the fact that it only asked once this time, maybe I did it right. Now do I just go keep following and unfollowing myself? It's me, my new subscriber. Twitch didn't fall for it that time, it seems like. We've now been doing this for an hour and 20 minutes. When again, if Twitch had just added this to the chat API along with where every other single part of this is, it would have been a whole lot easier. Uh, it didn't seem like it registered that time. Maybe I didn't wait long enough. Okay, I unfollowed. One Mississippi. Twitch might be on to me. I wish I could make it like do a test. Oh, also, did I even do any of the stuff right? I said follow to ID, the user ID. I did this wrong. I did it wrong. Just realized this. I, I told it to follow my, uh, I don't want the bot's username in there. I want my username in there or my channel ID in there. So I need to change, I need to get the channel ID. That's the problem here. Okay, where's me? Who am I? So, channel name, and then we'll have channel ID, I guess. And then bot name and bot ID, maybe? Bot name, bot ID, channel name, channel ID. Let's rename all these things so I break the code more easily. That's gonna be perfect. Bot name, bot ID, channel name, channel ID. Username, user ID. I probably messed something up. What we want, channel ID, and everywhere that I said channel. Okay, maybe that worked. Maybe, who can possibly say? 
Let's continue following and unfollowing myself. He loves me not. He loves me. Oh my gosh, we got it. It only took an hour and 25 minutes. Okay, so we got a payload. Why did I get it multiple times? With the same timestamp? Oh, is it mad because I'm not acknowledging it? Maybe it's continuing to rescind it until I acknowledge it or something like that. So maybe I just need to send a response code to say, hey, friend, you got it. Um, send a post request. If you do not get the notification, it will retry with exponential back off. The same notification may be sent to you twice. A unique ID is included in each notification payload. Is it? I don't see one in there. On receiving the notification, your application should immediately, with an HTTP success, response code to acknowledge it's successful. Okay, so let's start doing that. So that's feeling like that's working. So now we need to get in here. and say, okay, my friend, thank you for what you've done. And then we need, so what's this data? We need to parse this. Is this already JSONified though? Like, am I good here? Challenge. Okay, and now I have acknowledged this. Am I good? Are those my like the ones that I clicked earlier? Okay, so here's the payload that we have. So maybe we just send this payload to the front end the exact same way we're doing this. And just stringify it. Why is it an array? parse requests payload as JSON. I don't know if I have to here because I have this middleware, right? This express JSON middleware, which I think I think is doing it for me. Seems like a new thing, judging by the Stack Overflow stuff. But now it looks like it's in an array. JSON parser. I think it's the new style. Um, doesn't that look like it's an array? Should I like loop through it? What's the syntax for this? Okay, maybe, yes, no, possibly. Do I need to unsubscribe and resubscribe as a robot? Let's do it. He loves me not. He loves me? Did I break it?
Loves me not. He loves me? Maybe I've made Twitch mad. What did I break? <gasps> Binary C? Why didn't it work if Bob made this? Okay, so... Yeah, it is an array. So I just have to iterate through the array. And then we will just send this payload just as is to the client, I guess. Cool. Oops. So now we will do... I don't need to stringify it. I think we can just... I do need to stringify it. I just want to send this item as is to the client side. And then on the client side, we want something that will look like this. Although I guess we want to do something like item.type equals follow. Am I doing follows? Oh, I guess I could just send it as an array also. And deal with it on the client side, sort of looping through it here. Let's do that. No, I can't because data is the array, right? And so I'd have to wrap some kind of container in it. Let's not loop. Let's just do. Let's just follow this kind of thing. Just trying to have some some kind of consistency. Maybe something like that would be most consistent. Okay, so now we should, on the client side, get follows, and it could be an array. Could not be an array. Um, the babbies, ooh, I like this cyclical babby we got going. It's babbies all the way down. Draculin, here's that spiral plugin you like. We have like the you don't need vertex shaders, you just have babbies going down forever. Okay, so that kind of looks like a thing, right? Like, um, now we can start paying attention to the other end. Except if it's mad at me for subscribing and unsubscribing too much, it's gonna happen. I got it. Client side, follows. How about that? How about that? Only took an hour and a half. Okay, so what are we doing now? Now we gotta do all the stuff to make that work. So, I could structure this in a nicer way, but this will do for now. So data type equals follows. Let's at least alert me. I was not anticipating this to be such a pain in the butt. Loves me not. I like that thing in the original Popeye. Um, 
when uh, Pluto, 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 right? This movie's bad, but I love it. Mother, she loves me. She don't love me. She'll marry me. She won't. This guy played Mr. Noodle, I think. Did I get distracted? What just happened? Wait, what happened? I got distracted by Popeye. Who followed? Who was it? Oh my gosh, it works! Binary C, incredible! I got distracted by Popeye. I'm glad the alert works. Outstanding. Um. Wait. How did... Now I'm confused. Why is that type follows? Did I mess something up? This is a type follows. Uh, I definitely messed something up. What did I do? Oh, ha 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 ha. That's why. That was the problem. I was thinking about Popeye. I know, it's rookie mistakes. It's my whole career, it's rookie mistakes. I'm a professional rookie. Okay. Okay, we can have follows now, right? And we feel good about that. Now we should probably show them on the screen in some way. So I was thinking about how I want to do that. And I think to start out, we'll just have some kind of really simple message queue and then some kind of async thing that's just always looping. And then we await the time and then we delete and we just pop things off the queue like that. I think that's how I want to do it. Maybe I'm new. I'm new to that stuff in JavaScript, certainly. But for kicks, make the green dot explode. Make something spectacular happen with the green dot. I think today, since it just took so long to do that, and I actually the whole point of this stream was to make a version of Heat for Dan Schiffman. I think I'm gonna go for the low. Uh, Low, low impact version. I just needed a delay. I need some kind of delay. How do you like? Can I just like sleep or? What's the right way to just pause? in an async function in JavaScript. Oh, promise resolve one. Okay, so in general what we wanna do is, I think we wanna have like, um, Some kind of message queue. 
and then oh should we like make this a different kind of data structure doesn't matter i think we're just gonna pop and push push and pop right pop is always at the front I mean, at the back, we push to the front, pop from the back. I think that's all we want. So we will just, um, well, first of all, what does that even look like? This won't be very pretty today, but that's okay. I already forgot what the data structure is. So wait, oh, I got it, okay. Style it in CSS. Follow from data dot follows. Oh, I forgot this was an array. So we need to do something that's like really just kind of a I don't know I'm thinking like in my mind this is I'm thinking of this like a coroutines and unity or C sharp let's see if we can I mean, like, let's run it every second or whatever. So we don't want to always run it though. We want to, no, I think I kind of want to do it like this. Just run it and let it have its own delay. Just do something like this. Why doesn't it like that? Oh, I gotta make a sleep. They're not a thing that exists. And then basically say like, uh, if
Something? Something like this? We have no CSS for that, but that's okay. Inner text. Why did that? Why did that work less that time than it worked a minute ago? Oh. Don't work if I do a create element and then I can't do a. Don't say jQuery binary. See, life is yours will throw fit. I'm just, I just, I've been trying to not use jQuery as much because there's so. I feel like browser support is more robust than ever before, but then I run into dumb stuff like this. So, what am I doing wrong here? Oh, oh, that's not a function. Okay, so now when we get messages, what happened to cool? Only without, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Um, That's kind of weird. Why? Is my sleep not working properly? Oh, I need to, this needs to loop forever. Um, so we could just do like a while true. I'm thinking about that. I don't really know if this is the way you're supposed to do this. Okay, so that should just say, as long as there's messages, stick those messages in there, and then the messages can just kind of self-destruct and this. I don't know if I want to do it this way. Either we have two options. Either they can like sort of queue up if they need to, um, or they can not do that from somebody from another one I should know the color should know my official brand color. I don't remember. This isn't even it. This is like the old color. What's my new color that I use? I don't remember. What an embarrassment. This is an embarrassment. Not in there. Good heavens. I think Windows just has a built-in digital color meter like Mac OS. I have to, have to go grab it.
Okay, okay. Oh, thank you. Binary C was just ready for it. Wait, how did I get such a different color? That seems like a substantially different color. We'll do a taste test. Let me go look at the actual Illustrator file. They're... That's weird. I would have thought them, they would be more different than that. Okay, so let's do um, I don't really want them to be inline, but I don't want them to be full width. Oh, let me think of a way to do that. Like I want them to be, oh, inline block, is that what I want? But I don't want it to be inline. I want them to stack still but I want them to, I want the boundary. So maybe I actually need like two levels of div here. Or like a div with a span inside of it. Cause I think I want them to like stack on top of each other, but Could do this with some kind of mustache template also instead of manually. Massage body, inappropriate. Bodhi, don't massage Bodhi. I don't know who Bodhi is. Uh... Did I do that correctly? But I don't want you to be a div. I oh, can be in line. That's okay. to have any margin or padding, or I do. Padding should be inside though, so the padding should be here. Hmm. Let's not seem right. And I guess I could match this with margin, but that, that doesn't feel quite right. What? Is that because I'm an inline and not, would the inline block make that better? It would, okay. Top, left, right, bottom. I always forget this. The top and left. That was not correct. The top right. I could just look this up instead of guessing. There we go, okay. Um, okay, new follow from somebody. Let's make it 
Leto. That was ready for me. Load time. Fast! Okay. That looks okay. For now. It's pretty, you know, we'll get there. Um... So the thing, only thing we need to have like our first pass at this is to kill it. Which I guess we just do a set timeout for an amount of time. Do more fancy async stuff. Parent node remove child. Does that actually kill it? Something like that. Set. On capitalization. Okay. And we could add animation, make them fight on and off and all that jazz, but. So. Does this work now? Did I close the window where I was logged in? Shucks. Oh. I'm so lost. I don't have access. Access denied to me. Okay. So, I forgot to enqueue the message. I thought I did. I think I just created the message and then didn't actually enqueue it. Is that what I did? Something cool like that? Yes. Message Q, Q, U, 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 dot push message. Also, let's not. Let's just do a text transform uppercase.
Oh, Uber case? Uh, Uber? Uber case? Can I break it? What do I do? <gasps> Binary C followed. What a trooper. Binary C, hero, gentleman and scholar. Um, why didn't it work when I did it? Maybe I've unsubscribed and subscribed too much. It's done listening to me. Okay, there it goes. New follow from bot made this. So let's do one one little thing because we're doing enter HTML. So we can do um, either. Uh, how do we want to do it? Uh, I'm not going to do it yet. We'll we'll style this stuff later and make it look good. Um, okay, so now the next test is to go to the bot made this overlay and refresh the cache and then try to unfollow. And so hopefully this will actually appear on the real stream now. No. Wish I could check if people were VIPs. I guess if I do this, I could get it in and then look up the user and say, are you a VIP? And then I could potentially let VIPs like type things on the screen. That's maybe not a good idea. Okay, what did I break? Hmm. Oh, I said it to have like an if badges, which is weird. Cause why wouldn't there be the badges? Oh, cause I typed as bot made this and bot made this has no badges. That's weird though. I guess, well, he's not a mod. So he won't be able to do anything cause he's not a VIP, a moderator. He is a VIP. This robot of mine. 76. Do have to like check each of those individually? I'm sending too fast. Um, well, that's kind of lame because I thought I could get away with that. But I just checked badges, if badges, and badges is null, but that doesn't really make any sense because that robot, okay, he's nothing. He's not a VIP, he's nothing. So... But shouldn't this work? Shouldn't just saying if badges, or do I need to say, I guess null is different than undefined. If badges. Oh, like if badges and one of these. He shouldn't be allowed to do anything. Okay. 
Right. But if I VIP this robot, I already forgot how to do that. Phones yelling at me left and right. Um, rolls. Bot made this. Can be a VIP. And now can we alert? Okay, that works. And then now when I follow. I feel like it's ignoring me. I feel like I've like tripped some uh, some threshold of follow and unfollow. Or maybe I just broke it somehow. Wait, did it work? It worked! So it just doesn't want me to follow or unfollow. Okay, like it actually worked. It for real really worked. Incredible. I think it was... Um, I should leave it up for longer though, so I have time to see it. Leave it up for 10 seconds. And then I'm just kind of assuming all these other things still work, like cheer, hosted, rated, all of those things. Um, I don't really want to do those today. Kind of worn out on this particular topic, but <laughs> we're ready to. It would be pretty easy. Oh, you don't have subscribe in there. Subscription, I mean. I'll probably do this as a switch statement. But I think I'll end up breaking them all out anyway. Should load a heat overlay from within the glitch one. Oh, I could do some kind of heat thing in there too. I just have that as a different OBS overlay. Just have them all separate. I mean, that would be kind of interesting if this is if whatever resulted, like whatever my like graphic is that happens when, um, when someone subscribes or whatever is heat reactive. Yeah, do clear and stuff like that. Ah, oh, that's not a bad idea. Just take it an iframe or something like that. Yeah, I kind of like that. I kind of like the idea of like showing some graphical thing for all these messages and then have them be heat reactive. Mm -hmm. I like these ideas. However, I think I'm not going to do them today. Because I'm... <gasps> A subscriber. It's me. I'm my own subscriber. It's kind of small. Is that too small? I do want to start doing more streams where I like work on the stream, you know, like stream, stream home maintenance. It's true. Why did I just get an alert though? What was that alert? Did I accidentally make it where all messages alert? Wait, did you alert me? What did you do? Did you steal my secret? 
or something? How did you alert me? You subbed? Wait, I didn't get the message. Level three, potato, thank you for the sub. Oh, you followed. Wait, I still didn't see the message. Wait, why didn't I see the message? Did the message come up and I just missed it because it was too small? Now I'm confused. Now you've confused me. I didn't see a message. What act what actually happened here? Oh my gosh. Level three potato, you're the official one. You're my 100th follower. You get a free coupon for something. You get a free coupon, um, redeemable, not today. But someday come back and redeem your coupon. Wait, the whole point of today was to make this work so that I could see my 100th follow and then I missed it. Travesty. Well, that's huge. Not that gonna be better. Normally, what I would probably do is do like, and then make this two EMs. Oh man. Where the cookie crumbles. Okay, uh, let's remove the test message. Look, but the I'll unfollow with the robot. Also, I'm just I'm just leaking followers. Um, take out the test message. I'm gonna make it say it for 15 seconds. That's why do I keep hitting insert? I'm like in vim mode. Um, I'm going to close this window. I'm going to come over to the overlay and get in there and refresh the cache of the current page. Okay. I think we're like clean, pristine, ready. Follower count down. Wait, it still says 98. Did somebody try to refollow? Okay, I'm gonna try to follow now. New follow from Bod made this. It worked. Just terrific. Doesn't look very good, but hey, it worked. New follow from Binary C. Hopefully, it will go away in a second. Yeah, we want to like animate these around, like move them all around, make them weird. Okay, that's a start, right? Now we can at least see the things and hear the things. What was the thing I was actually gonna do on this stream? I was gonna make a thing for Dan Schiffman. Try like a live, okay, let's try that. Let's try to get through this. And then I wanna take a break and then I wanna play Slay the Spire. Yeah, we wanna make, so what I wanna do, um, we looked at Dan's coding train video the other day and it was amazing because he streams live on YouTube and he is interested in heat, but of course heat is a very Twitch centric thing. So I was thinking of ways to do it. One of them, Binary C, you and I, I think we're on the, the same page with maybe doing a Chrome extension, but I think the easy early way, even though the YouTube embed uh, terms of service expressly forbid it is to just do an overlay, like a YouTube overlay embedded in a page and then uh do it you slayed how did it go how was your slaying i think i like that game okay so i started as quick i don't even do anything with it
In fact, I think I need to delete this because I do, I want this to be a, just realized. Five hundred points. Third level, like to the end of the third level, where you get to the heart. I haven't really paid attention to the points. I don't quite know how those work. I assume that there's like levels, you know, things that happen, other things that happen. I I made a choice. I don't know if this is the right choice, but I was like, oh well, I want to finish that stream, that run from the other night on stream, so I felt like I shouldn't play anymore on that save, and so I started playing on another save, just to learn and practice a little more but now that save is almost up to where the other save was i think i made a poor choice i probably should have just kept playing um okay so we wanted to just we just want to like quick and dirty come up with a youtube ish version of heat with like none of the bells and whistles it'll just all run on glitch all pieces all pieces of cake so we should see what's going on live on YouTube. Perfect strike, yeah. With a ton of strike cards. I ran into, have you run into the vampires yet? Where they will trade you all of your strike cards for um, bite, which is like a strike alternative, but you get HP back, but then you can't, but I didn't do it because I was, I was also building around perfect strike. I've been building around strength the last few runs where I do like crazy strength stacking, which has gone well. I mean, it's gone okay. I've, I've finished the game. Okay. Um, what live thing should we watch? How about April the Giraffe? Oh, that's interesting. Top chat. Okay, so what I think we want to do, I'm not even 100% sure this is going to work. In fact, can you even embed a live stream? Let's just try it. With no player controls. Okay, so our whole front end, at least to start with, is just going to be Uh, is there a way to turn on wrap? It would be kind of cool to have um, some kind of gladiator mode where you could bother other people, but since you don't have a persistent deck, I don't exactly know how that would work. Okay, so we've got April. She's having a great time. And we just want to start. No, not that. I just want like a quick little template. I always. I kind of don't want this to auto refresh. It sort of annoys me. Refresh app on changes. What if I turn that off? How do I force it to refresh? Oh, I just have to go refresh it, I see. Okay, and then.
Oh. Okay, so now I can't hit play. Cool. Can I turn on autoplay? I bet that's not even a thing anymore, right? Like you probably just can't do that. Autoplay one goes in the URL, looks like. Okay, that worked. Okay. So let's get script stuff happening and have a document dot get element. Let's just click. So in this case, we want like e dot client x. Yeah, it's gonna be a little weird because it's just gonna be. We're gonna, I'm gonna like hard code some sizes. We're gonna do this a little, a little quick and dirty. Um, well, we'll need like e dot client client x divided by 960 and make it a float. E dot Okay, so now we just need to set up express and we can set up a route and we can take that in and do just like the basic heat stuff, but without any, any of the fancy, um, like validation or anything like that. We do need, how do you do that? I just don't like it being so long.
Okay, so we've got clicks and now we just need somewhere to send them. So we want to do an HTTP request. for like slash click. We'll, we'll do it very much the way we did it with heat. In fact, we should probably just steal the heat code. At least for the clicks, just because I don't quite remember what I did. Um, that would be on the front end and the video overlay. Excuse me? We just need this, this whole party. Build the URL like that. Okay. So we get the click data, normalize it. We're gonna just, what if you can do this? I think it's smart enough to do that. We don't need any headers. This cool thing. So in this case, we'll get 404s, I think. Yeah. And then now we need to go back over here. Okay, now we're getting clicks on the live video. Why am I not getting my 200 response? Did I remove that? I don't want this. Or this, or this. What's this giraffe doing? Jeff is so still and patient. Not for, uh oh, not for recorded reuse or streaming without consent. I'm sorry, giraffe. Don't, nobody look at the giraffe. Um, I'm gonna call it fair use somehow. Oh, 
little confused while I'm not while I'm not seeing any. Oh, because I didn't send a response. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Now we need a WebSocket server. Who is that? Who's clicking? Who's clicking me? All right, we just want one of these and pass it. You can just actually pass it. You can just do this. Um, we do need HTTP. Yeah, we got to do that thing, right? Where we do um, that in here. And then you pass the app here. And then you listen with the server here. And then you pass the server there. No, not you. Server listen. Do that. This is not the right way to do it. Create server with app. Pass in the server like that. Server listen. Who is actually mad? Is this not the right syntax for this? Steal the glitch paint? Well, because I wanted to pair specifically to the live video. I mean, maybe I'll steal the glitch paint for what actually draws, but I just want to make this simple example for Dan. Um, what's my problem? Oh, oh, oh. That was the client code, Goober. I do that. Okay, now video is live, paint is live. Um, 
but I want it to be where, so Dan wants to do the same thing with Heat, where, where he can have the clicks and then do stuff. I mean, I assume, you know, because he, he does code demos and stuff. So I want him to have um, the ability to live stream and has his, li his live stream in. I, can, I see what you're saying. I guess I'm essentially doing the same thing. I just was, no, you're right. I probably could have done that. It's almost the same. I just wanted it to be a little more heat like, I guess, where the client and, and uh, where the, there's some separation between the viewers and the broadcaster. But maybe you're probably right. I didn't actually need to do that. I could have just thrown that overlay on top. Um, but now that you say that, let's just steal that. We should steal that code probably. Although at this point, we're almost done. Binary C, sometimes I. Uh, I try not to do this actually. I really try not to, but sometimes I make things more complicated than they need to be. Where is that thing? This thing? You're, you're right that this is largely what we want. I guess in this, the one thing that's different is there's no separation between the kind of user, right? Like everybody is an equal citizen, so there's not really the idea of the, client, the broadcaster or the, um, which probably doesn't really matter. Let's just steal this whole thing. Don't even copy the code. I, I, I know, I know, I could. But, but, but again, like I want, like, I think Dan will want to play with it and actually make this, make the stuff, you know, like make a thing. So I just wanted a standalone demo for that. Maybe he won't. Who knows? Okay. Does this do all the stuff more or less? The thing in this case is we don't broadcast from here. Like we don't really need to do. Wait, why did I do that? I just looped through everybody here. Why did I do that instead of not? I didn't even use broadcast. How no no one told me I wasn't even using I wasn't even using the code. Hmm. Okay. Well, in this case, we don't care about any messages coming in. I only care about messages going out. Um, and then from here, we want to we'll just make it real simple. Okay. <clears throat> and then on the... That'd be the client side. And then on the broadcaster side. And this will be, we will just take this kind of, right? We will just say, draw, draw drawings. Or 
payload might be wrong. Um, and where we're gonna connect will be here. Oops. Oh, because right, we don't want to send here. Oh, what's wrong? Oh, well, because that's not a URL. That's not a valid URL at all. It's an extremely invalid URL. Just exceptionally invalid. So I got connected here. I'm not receiving things here. I don't ever want to send anything. We can draw our own stuff. What's the matter? Oh, I didn't, uh, I didn't stringify. Okay, I click here, I get friends out here, and then params on that <clears throat> broadcaster side look like what? Can't remember how I formatted the points. I did add a color before. But let's not, let's just do that. Let's just say when a point comes in, we'll have a random color. Point X, point Y with window width. So actually that seems just about right, right? When we get data in, we want to points push to the data. Okay. Here's our very, our very rudimentary version. And then if I were the live broadcaster, I don't think we even need our server side drawing, like drawing on our side. Let me just ditch all that stuff. Okay, so presumably, I mean, it's not great, but during a live broadcast, you could say, go to this web page, and we're not gonna, we don't need to make it super robust. We're just experimenting here, but we could say, go to this web page, and if this was my live YouTube broadcast, which I guess I could test by broadcasting live on YouTube. I've never done that before. So you can use those things, right? There's services where you can multi-broadcast, like you, stream from OBS to one place and then it will automatically stream everywhere. But I feel like this is working ish. I mean, it, you know, it just doesn't have any, any of the, any of the bells and whistles of actual heat, but I feel like it's the, it's got the basics there that whatever video here is. And yes, binary C, um, 
not rendering overlay client side. I mean, I could have done that. Um, I mean, I guess I would leave that up to whatever Dan wanted to do. We could, you could do that here, draw there. Um, but I feel like as a a, a smallish demo that gets the idea across for further work, which really I think the the way to really do this if you're really going to do it is uh, probably a Chrome extension. You want to paint the giraffe? Oh man, okay. I'm going to get in trouble. I'm probably going to go to jail for uh, restreaming this. It expressly says to not do that. Okay, how do we want to paint the giraffe? I mean, I could just throw this under there, right? Like... On the broadcaster side. And then now I need to make it position fixed and all that good stuff because it's drawn down there. Yeah. So, or make our, I guess it's fine. We just need to make our processing canvas not, hmm. Like, can I give it an element? Move the canvas so it's inside our div. Let's do that. again what's wrong position fixed top left oh I need to make my this canvas only the size I said it when you resize the window. And all this is based on window width, wolf. Just hard code everything. All this so you can paint the giraffe. Okay, binary, see that it's your, it's all yours. Your dreams of painting the very patient, very still giraffe have come true. I hope. Is it working? Just 
Did you lose interest? Did I make you too mad by not, not doing it the easy way? You shouldn't be on drug. Yeah, yeah. Broadcaster, I don't have drawing on. You have to draw from the client side. I could have left that in, but I took it out. Beautiful. Look at this beautiful work you've done. Ta-da! Incredible. Incredible work we've done here. It does, I agree, as you can see here. And now I just feel compelled to draw dots all over this. Maybe we should make a weird connect the dots thing, where as people click, it automatically connects them all. It's like weird Vernoy. Kind of thing. Click animation? No, we're done. This is done. This is finished. Three hours. This is a this is a this is an adequate proof of concept. This isn't the real thing. Maybe one day I will want to real build. I don't know if I will. I don't think I really would. I mean, maybe someday I'd want to build like the Chrome extension or something. But this is just just to just to give Dan something to play with. What is this? Is it it's kind of like the drafts just staring at whatever this thing is? Okay, that's our very simple giraffe version. I wonder if this is always streaming. Why don't you close? Okay, cool. So we did it. We made we made things work. I got a hundred followers. Terrific. I heard a noise when it happened. Also terrific. Like, what, what more could I possibly ask for? Um, what else? Anything else I want to do? Mm -hmm. I think that's it. I think I'm going to take a break, eat some dinner, and then maybe I'll come back and stream some Slay the Spire. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Um, thanks, Draclin and Binary C. Thanks, um, I don't have your name up. Level, level three potato for the follow? Some kind of potato? What was it? Did I get that right? Level three potato, nailed it. Okay, 100 followers. Heat without redis. Um, I don't need the redis. The redis was really just for if you if you're gonna have any kind of redundancy, you kind of need redis so they could all talk together. But I am kind of thinking like after the uh, after the. AWS challenge is over, maybe I will simplify things and get rid of the load balancing and the Rita server and all that stuff. I don't know. I just don't want to pay for it. Although I did get a message from AWS people today that they're going to give me some credit for heat. So we'll see how much they give me. Maybe a million dollars. Probably not. Um, yeah, we'll see. I don't know. There's a little bit more I want to do with Heat, but I'm really thinking about this Mongo project now. The, Mon the Mongo uh, hackathon. I've been trying to decide what I want to do for that. Anyway, I will be back probably not too long, an hour or two, maybe. Um, thanks again for hanging out, and I will see you all soon.